I will give you a new heart. During the time of prophet Ezekiel, the nation of Israel had gone so far from God. They had altars built up on every hill and were offering burnt sacrifices to idols. They had become more vile than the nations around them that did not know God. They not only worshipped idols in their homes, but even in the temple of God. The place that had been built as God's dwelling place, they had defiled with idol worship. So God sent prophet Ezekiel to proclaim his judgment and punishment over them because of their detestable sins. The nation of Israel was led into captivity. But while there, God sent Ezekiel to say this to them, Although I have scattered you in the countries of the world, I will be a sanctuary to you during your time in exile. I, the sovereign Lord, will gather you back from the nations where you have been scattered, and I will give you the land of Israel once again. When the people return to their homeland, they will remove every trace of their vile images and detestable idols, and I will give them singleness of heart and put a new spirit within them. I will take away their stony, stubborn heart and give them a tender and responsive heart so they will obey my decrees and regulations. Then they will truly be my people and I will be their God. Even at their worst, God was still willing to show mercy to the nation of Israel. God was to give them another chance to become his people. Throughout their years of transgressing, God's hands were always open in anticipation of their return to him, just as they are always open in his anticipation of us returning to him. Like Israel, we may be scattered away from God because of our sins, but the Lord himself will return us back to himself. We will then forsake all our past sinful ways and embrace his ways. The promise of a renewed heart is a promise of forgiveness. No matter how far we may fall from his grace, God's forgiveness is availed when we return to him. The promise that was given to Israel through Ezekiel is given unto us through Jesus Christ. In him, we are promised a new heart and God's spirit, the Holy Spirit dwelling within us. The Holy Spirit makes us responsive to God and to his ways. We then truly become his people and he becomes our God.